Hello, so this time I'm going to show you how to download or clone a repository onto your system. So I've chosen the Facebook layout from Flying Crypto, which also got featured on Medium. This Facebook clone I'm going to download on my system and run it on the Android Studio. So for that, let's see in the previous tutorial, we had configured a Git. Let's see if it's working or not. So for that, go into your git bash and type in config and see if your global user dot name the previous time when we were configuring we had written the username but this time i just want to see i just want to make sure if my git is configured so yes it is my username is working again i want to check if the configuration is right about my email so yes, this one's also right. We can clone it right away. So I'm going to show you the first um, how to download it, manually download, because this is an easier way and then via JIT commands in the later video. So I have chosen this pictures uh, directory because this is the only directory which is less clumsy. And I have changed the settings also for the download from here so it's directly downloading in my pictures folder just for a demo so my zip file is all ready I'm just gonna open it up and then extract it I'll choose this place of extraction Facebook loan is the directory that I've already made so I'll just click on ok and close this up so now when I go into my Facebook clone directory, I see that indeed this has been formed and I'll extract it directly into pictures. So we don't need this anymore and this is all ready. Now I'm going to open this up via my Android studio and show you if it's running or not. So I'm just going to go in my file and then into open so I'm currently here in my Android studio projects I'll go to my home and then to pictures over here and open this up in this window itself let's wait Now the Gradle has finished building the project, it took a uh, good 5-6 minutes for me and it's still not opening up the project quite so I'm manually going in and uh, this is the activity so let's just run it and see if actually the project has been copied or not and I'm just gonna show you if it's running on an emulator I've chosen it and let's wait Now I see that same layout is opening up in my emulator over here and I have successfully forked the repo and downloaded it and then ran on my device. So I hope you people learned how to download a repo and start working on it as your own. So thanks for watching.